Guys, what's up? It's John Game Trade One here with my good friend Rob. How's it going, everybody? We're in, we're in his game room, and we're going to talk about some really. We've been talking about some really unique consoles. It's not every day. We're just talking about this. It's not every day that I see a console that I've never seen before. You've got a handful of them. I'll be honest. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Uh, so, what do we have? What are you holding right here? This is an off-the-wall projector. It's I call it the Ferrari of a video game projector system because it's red and it looks like a sports car or maybe a spaceship. It looks like something from like Lost in Space or I don't know, like very sci-fi looking robot. It's, it's really very cool. cool. This is actually a handheld game. It's a handheld LCD projector system, so it's made to be actually held in the hands and not set on something like your like a knee or a table or a lap or anything. So it's actually made to be suspended in the air. This is a true handheld. Okay, okay. And the batteries, I know it takes a ton of batteries. Yeah, it takes three D-sized batteries, and in there is one AA battery. I think that's, I think it's AA for the clock and everything else for the projector. Let's see Let's see the box real quick. Uh, bring up the box. Now you actually imported this, because this seems so hard to find in the States, is that right? This, yeah, this, this I only knew that this, that this French company, Savvy, had made a version of it in Europe. Okay. And so I I searched for that and I found a copy on a on a Belgian trading website similar to our version of Craigslist. So it's an L C D game. So think of like the old Tiger handhelds, right? Is yeah. yeah. Like that? This is it, it, it's it, it's or the old uh, Game Watch. Or even more modern the uh, R Zone. R Zone, okay. But with color background graphics, like the R Zone um, Super Screen. Right. Right, okay, okay. You know, this isn't the first game projector. I mean, Nintendo did it back in the day, like sure. that, that yeah. and it was go back to the 70s. I mean, it would go quite a bit in history uh, as far as projectile or projector Projection. games. Projector yeah. games, not projectile. But uh, very cool. And so uh, it's all in French. This is the box, anyway. This box is all in French, yeah. And uh, how many games? Well, it looks like there's like, like six different pictures of games here in the back. There are, there are pictures of six games, and I can confirm that four exist. Four exists. You have sure. the one that came with this. I have the one. I have, I have two games. I have one that came two with games, this, and games. I have a. I have the packing game, and I have an extra game. Do you this, know what this thing retail for back in the day? Any guess? No. Oh yeah. I can find out. We can insert that price right in the little <laughs> pop up here. Lower lower screen there. Okay. Well, this has a price tag on it. One hundred ninety nine nine, but that's that's in Belgium, so I have no, <laughs> idea. I have no idea what that <laughs> what that. Is. So one hundred and ninety nine francs, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, very cool. Let's uh, turn the lights off. Let's get intimate. Oh, let's let's uh, check it out. Bom, 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 bom. Okay, so before we uh, turn the lights off, I just want to take a closer look at uh, the game itself. So this is a power switch. I don't know if it's a cartridge. Let's see what the check that out. That's unique. How do you know which way to put the card in? Does it not go in the other way? Only yeah, it won't, if, if I try to put it backwards, it won't fit. So it has little connectors there. So it only okay. will fit in the right direction. These are your action buttons here on the side? Yep. That's really unique. And these actually go down as well? Yeah, so you can angle this however you want to angle, however you want to have it angled. So if you just want to have it sitting here and looking straight up, you don't have to change it. So you can actually angle okay. the projector any angle that you want to have it angled. On this the is focus right here. The focus. Yeah, so you can focus it, and then when it turns on. Okay, so you power it on. The lights are off, and you're just focusing it. Wow, that's really cool. So the clock. So what's the purpose of the clock? It's like a game and watch. I mean, it's the same basic. It's the same basic concept here, except it's also an LCD game at the same time as it is. Okay, so uh, now that you uh, adjusted the clock and. Uh, time. So now you, you're controlling the person below, is that right? You're the ship? You're shooting it? So what are you doing exactly? Okay, so my right trigger controls those, those three dots on the bottom. One, two, three. Okay. And so I want to line the dot up with where I think that ship's going to be, and I use the left trigger to shoot. And so it, you can barely, it's probably not even audible on the camera, but there is a slight beat. You're supposed to shoot the ship. Yeah. So I want to be able to hit all the ships. Pretty wild. It's cool though. What's cool is you can control how big the screen is by you know how close you get or how far you get. Yeah, and you can always move it. And if you're like, oh, maybe I don't want to look up and lay down now. Maybe I'm sitting up and I want to see it now. Maybe it'll look really cool behind the Dreamcast because everything looks good with a little bit of Dreamcast. <laughs> but that's all there is to it. It's an LCD system with LCD style games in it. And this is the first time this game has ever been seen footage 
on YouTube, I can guarantee you that because this particular game for it, this Alien Invader game, is pretty rare. No one, cool. no one else has footage of this but you. So you have a YouTube channel, Retro Game Living Room. Retro Game Living Room, where you can find uh, some more videos of the off-the-wall projector video game system. Awesome. Thanks for sharing this with us, man. Thanks. Thanks for being here with me, John. I appreciate it. Appreciate you guys subscribing. Thank you for liking this video. Thanks for sharing and commenting. See you guys soon. Take care. Game on. Game on.